head back out to the home of Mount Rushmore, where Lawrence Jones is live along with Governor Kristi Noem as she battles the White House's ban on the fireworks display this 4th of July. Hey, Lawrence. Hey, Governor. Hey there, uh, Governor. They said hello in studio. Look, I got to tell you guys, normally politicians are just boring. Not this governor. She's here eating. She's already killed half of the cinnamon roll, and she's getting ready to destroy this pancake. Uh, governor, it's so great to be with you. Lawrence, that's, that's the problem. I love it. Um, the breaking news for you is that you're sending troops from here mm -hmm. to Texas to aid with the border. Why mm -hmm. did you decide to make that move? Well, typically securing the border would be the responsibility of the federal government, but our federal government is not doing their job. And we know that we have dangerous people crossing the border. We have a lot of drugs coming into our country. We have a lot of human trafficking going on. The governors of Texas and Arizona have asked us for help. And this is a mission that National Guard is trained and equipped and does with excellence. So when they made the request to me, I started running the protocols, uh, asking if we had volunteers in my National Guard that would want to do this mission, and had more than more than I could possibly um, anticipate so would Governor, want to go. So, you actually went and talked with those men and women, yeah, I, and they volunteered. They, they volunteered to go because they understand how important it is to secure that border. And in fact, my tag came back and said, we have more that would like to, if, if this is a mission that needs to last longer than the original 30 days that we're planning. But this is... I, and, and our law enforcement officers would have gone too. The, the question for us is, most of these law enforcement officers you see going from other states are going for a 14-day deployment. Um, it's not going to be over in 14 days. In fact, it's going to get much worse. And the National Guard is used to being there, getting a mission, accomplishing it, and being in situations exactly like they're going to see an encounter down there on the border. It's dangerous. And then they come home. South Dakota's had the number one ranked National Guard unit in the country for the last three years. So I have the best. I have the best and I'm going to send my best because this country deserves the best. And as a Texan, we say thank you oh. because we are being hit the hardest mm -hmm. by the, um, I, I got to pivot to something that is near and dear to your heart, mm -hmm. which is the celebration on Mount Rushmore, right. our history. Um, you, know, you guys were able to do that under President Trump. He came here and was here with the people. The Biden administration is saying no. What do you think is driving this decision? Well, see, we had fireworks at Mount Rushmore for years. It wasn't until President Obama came into office that they took it away. Um, he made the decision to pull it based on environmental concerns. So as soon as I became governor, even I wasn't even sworn in yet, I had a conversation with President Trump and said, would you ever help us get back our celebration at America's Monument, the one that recognizes the importance of our founding fathers, that celebrates um, our independence and freedoms? And he said, you want fireworks and you want me to help you? And I said, yes. And he said, I'll do it. it took us a year and a half to do all of the environmental studies, to do the back burning necessary to protect the area from fire danger. Uh, and we did every single requirement that was laid out in the protocols to get the celebration back. And Lawrence, I hope you watched it last year. Yeah, it was fantastic. It, it was. In the middle of a pandemic, at Mount Rushmore on July 3rd, the country unified. We saw riots and violence happening in every other state, and South Dakota stepped up and hosted a celebration of people that love this country and were peacefully gathering to recognize how unique this, this country is. So uh, we want to do that every year. What changed, Governor? What, 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 what is driving this? Because you know, I've heard a lot about mm -hmm. the environmental concerns. You addressed those concerns. We did. I've heard you talk about mm -hmm. the game day action plan mm -hmm. for if something goes wrong, that mm -hmm. you can pull the cord on yep. that. Yep. Why is that different for this year? It's not. Biden just decided not to let us have it. Literally just would refuse to issue us the permit to be on that federal property right there. Uh, now, there is a, a federal law, uh, because I've sued them over this, there's a federal law called the Administrative Procedures Act, which says that they have to give us a real reason for why they denied us the opportunity to be there and to celebrate. We met the environmental concerns, we met the fire danger protocols, we've consulted with the state, local, and federal officials, we've done the consultations with the tribes, we met every single protocol. There was no reason to deny us this permit unless it was 
for political reasons. And that's what the people are saying. Governor, thank you so much. I'm going to send it back to you guys in New York. Brian, I know you're just steaming with a question for the governor. Uh, absolutely. How many buffalo did you wrangle this morning uh, before you got up for work? I mean, this woman starts at daybreak. I, okay, I can't hear this, Lawrence. So, so Brian is saying, how many buffalo did you wrangle before you got up to go to work? <laughs> they all love it. The best way to wake up in the morning. Wake up in the morning. R wrestle a few buffalo, and you're prepared yeah. for Biden. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and Lawrence, you know when Brian went to Mount Rushmore, you actually went behind the heads, right? You. Got and I, I actually sat on the heads in the back. There's stairs in the back. It's pretty amazing. But and I know it's safe well, for fireworks. Is about when, when they went to Mount when they went to Mount Rushmore, he actually got to sit on the head out there. But the governor, you didn't hear this, right? But the governor was a little upset because you didn't come down here to have breakfast with her today. <laughs> oh, you know what? We could only afford to send one person first class, and you're in. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> they can only afford to send one person first class. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted you. Right. <laughs> Thank y'all. Right. You're better, you better off. He's a lot nicer. Thank